Our in-depth back-to-school coverage continues now. Joined now by WPRI.com reporter Dan McGowan here to break things down, specifically three key things to keep in mind as students head back to school. We'll begin, of course, with elementary school. A lot of new faces in school there. And uh, what should parents know about as we go into this year? You know, the big thing in elementary school is this recess bill that got passed at the end of the legislative session last year. Now, the state is required to provide 20 minutes of recess to every elementary school student from K through 6 if if it's a K-6 elementary school. Now, if you're a sixth grader going into middle school, you don't have to have recess. That's a big deal. That's the first time that we've seen the state have to force the you know, schools to do that. Middle school, next step, of course. Uh, sixth through eighth grade, typically we start to see kids maybe veer off the path the parents want them on. Is the state doing anything right now to, to try to keep people on the path that they should be on? Probably the biggest concern in education across the country right now. Everyone knows, you know, you hit sixth, seventh grade, lots of changes in kids' bodies, things like that. On top of, it gets a little more difficult. So what you're seeing this year, particularly from Rhode Island, is this big investment in technology. You're seeing uh, lots of schools go to uh, one-to-one, on tablets or Chromebooks, things like that. So you're seeing a big investment in technology. Who knows if it will work, but that's what they think moving forward will, will work. And of course, high school, when everything starts to be up for grabs, we've heard the governor talk about her real focus on getting families and students thinking about college. That includes offering these free PSAT and SAT courses, why do that? What benefit is there? This is a big deal, and people actually aren't giving it probably enough credit. You, you know, when you think about taking the PSAT and taking the SAT and doing it in school and for free, that opens this up to a lot of kids who weren't normally going to maybe take that test, right? And this opens up the chance to get those, you know, flyers from colleges trying to, you know, bring you in, things like that. It's access that wasn't here before, and so that's going to be a big thing. You're going to see that probably in the first, you know, couple of weeks of, August, of uh, October, excuse me. Um, and, and we're going to have that moving forward. Again, big access to college yeah. opportunities there. Dan, thanks so much. Thank you. And of course, our back to school coverage continues all morning. Here's what's coming up. In fact, at 8 o'clock right here on Fox Providence, the school year may have just started, but trying to pack healthy lunches for your kids, it becomes a challenge pretty quickly. Consumer reporter Susan Campbell has some helpful advice on what does and what does not belong in your child's lunchbox.